return of the Rally Durham's ice Rally Durham Ice Caps franchise mode featuring Kane's Twitter. So sit back, relax, grab a beverage of some kind. There we go. So we are officially at free agency and we're just simming to next season now. All of the guys that um, we qualified should be accepting our qualifying offers now. Shouldn't have any offer sheets. These trade offers are not going to be accepted or simulating. We should be nearing the end of the off season. Teams should have made all of their moves by now. I'm legitimately surprised that we are still getting offers. There's another offer, my god. Alright. We should be seeing the lines, yes. So edit lines. Boom. We'll do that. Unless no. That's still really good though. So Kaufman. Ah, uh, he really fits that system. I'm not on the thing. Damn. Okay. But anyways, here's the team. This is perfect. Let's bring scratches real quick. Okay, perfect. <sighs> Excuse me. I think that's perfect. I want Will to be one of the top defensemen on this team. He was picked, I don't know what, he was picked a 40th overall in the second round. So, we'll see. Goaltending, there we go, perfect. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good, fun team. Um... I may need to find a better head coach, but we'll see. Hans Kaufman. Very German. <laughs> What the hell did my cat just do? I heard like a beeping sound. <laughs> Bro, where did he go?
He can't have just like fucking disappeared, man. Oh, <laughs> here you are. You found a corner? Sorry, my cat is messing around with stuff. I wanted to make sure it wasn't anything serious. But nope, he's just chilling in the corner. Acting stupid. Not so much better. I can see now. I don't know. I'm happy with where the team's at. Defensively, like, yes, getting Sergachev is huge, but we still need, like, a... We still need, like, a true top pairing. We're close, and if Will develops, we have it. You know? <laughs> Alright. So... All we really need to worry about is just the team winning games. We're six one and zero. We've got the franchise goaltender, which is what we we needed. We have you know the, the franchise cornerstones in Booth, Kaufman, um, Cahoon, and Nylander. and we have the franchise defenseman. Um, what the hell is his name? Sergachev. There's Joaquin Lang projected to be a franchise player with another Wayne Gretzky comparison. So this is a kid that could legitimately change the game for some team. Wow. <sighs> Excuse me. And Mikhail Ye Yakimov is projected to be a gem. He's 19 and a goalie, so I'm probably going to say no um, to picking him, but you never know. We finally got our first wins of the season after losing the first three games. Um, anti Ranta on waivers, former ice cap. We always lose the battle of uh, Raleigh. Thank God we never play the Hurricanes in the playoffs, man. So they whip our ass. Okay, I'm not loving this. A 10-7 to 7 win, huh? Alright. So, I mean, we're struggling early on. Um, DeBrasque got with a mild concussion. That's unfortunate. Seems like we're struggling to get any sort of, like, offense going. Judging by the way we're losing these games. Like, a lot of goal games where we don't give up a ton of goals. Oh, smushy out. Oh, just for a week. And DeBrasque is back. But, like, it's just games where we don't give up... We give up way too many goals, as you can see right there, and we don't score any goals. So she's back. We're not doing very well, which I don't hate. 5-2-W. I don't hate it. February 1st is when Smushy's out until... Alright. Well... The good news... Stupid ass cat. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm silent here because I'm just watching him. He crawled behind his litter box. And we have like one with like a cover on it. So he got like behind the cover and just kind of slowly slid down the wall. <laughs> Alright, now you know not to do that, right, stupid? Alright. Well, hello, viewer. Sorry, you missed, like, a pretty 
You just missed me staring at my cat, and that was about it. Oh, okay. We're doing better. Even without, like, half the team. Really, half the team is Pionk and Smushy. <laughs> Trochik was out, too. Okay. So, I mean... Yeah, we're getting the wins that we need now. But franchise player right here, as you can see, Joaquin Lang. He has the Gretzky comparison as well. Still don't know anything about this goalie. We haven't even seen him play. Our scouts are like, hell yeah, this guy's a gem, man. Trust me. <laughs> so there's the win that gets us back actually into a playoff spot. And there's a shutout win over the island. Oilers. So Wallstedt, despite um, being a rookie, is doing really well this year. Jesper Wallstedt. Um, not his rookie season. He uh, spent time as our backup last year, but um, definitely his first real season as an NHL starter because Smushy is out till February. Yeah, he'll be out until February 1st. Which he he might be back by like the late little all star break quote that they have separated shoulder for Sergachev he's out until the fourteenth of January. My goodness, this team cannot catch a break with the injuries this year. Um, but still they're managing to do well in spite of all of that. They're managing to get some wins. Um. No, I don't expect us to win every game. But I mean, you know, we're getting points in almost every game now. Pearson out with a sore knee. Oh, that's um, the AHL. I was like, crap, man, now Tanner Pearson's out? But no, he's not. Okay. We're good. <laughs> All right. We lose to San Jose, but there we go. We beat Washington. Pearson is back for the AHL team. Boom. All right. There's a couple big wins. The Flyers, Rangers, and Capitals are teams we need to beat. We only play the Flyers in the next like month. Sergachev is now back. Ooh, a little earlier than I would have liked. 8-2 to two loss with Sergachev back in the lineup. Yikes. Um... Huge win against Dallas or uh, Vegas and Dallas there. So we get a huge four points against Western Conference teams there. That's a big deal. Again, the Flyers are pretty much the cream of the crop in the division. Um, which is unfortunate for us. But, I mean, we're doing well still. All right, two straight losses. Let's take a look. It's January. It's been about a month and a half, and still no draft rankings. We do know at least a little bit more about this goalie, but we only really got like one extra viewing of him. The Hurricanes are also doing well this year, so it's entirely possible that we see a Canes and Ice Cap series. Which would be awesome. Battle of North Carolina, man. So cool. Even though they always have our number. But Smushy is back. So we theoretically should see improvement. In goaltending especially. Man, we moved up from second in the division. It's like everybody in this team, or this division, is competitive. It sucks. <laughs> but we're getting big wins now. Um, Wallstedt, thank you for your service. Sprained ankle for Sammy Niku. He'll be out for a little bit. That's a pretty big part of our offensive side of the defense. Kaufman, no! Out with a concussion until the... Possibly the game against Colorado. More than likely the game against Detroit. Big shutout win against the Bruins, though. Um, oh yeah, he's back. All right. You get that win against the Islanders. You've won four of your last five. There we go. Big win against Colorado, too. All right. Four-game winning streak now. you got to beat the Rangers. They're a team that's pretty close to you in the standings. You lose to them. Mm, that's unfortunate.
big win against the Oilers, though, the next night or the next game. So we come back from a loss and immediately get the win. Ugh, ugly loss. I'm curious to see where we are in terms of like goals allowed. Because <laughs> it really looks like we uh, allow a lot of goals. <laughs> Five to two win against the Preds. Okay. These games against the Western Conference teams are really keeping us alive here. We'll be a conservative buyer. We'll enter the trade deadline. I'm curious of something. Ryan Ellis is a little too um good of a free agent for me. Uh, nope. I am looking to add however I'm just going to say only if it's a good defenseman. She's great, but he wouldn't be good for my team. Oh, I thought that somebody had traded for him right away. Suzuki and Pesci to the Calgary Flames for a lot. I mean, adding somebody other than Pionk would help. I'm gonna add Sammy Niku here. Oh, well, let's see if that works. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I wanted my top pairing and I got it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. There we go. That's my trade deadline. I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's see if Sammy Niku for Ryan Ellis would work. And it did. Um, I was probably going to depart from at least one defenseman in the offseason. I'm not going to be signing Ryan Ellis. So it makes sense. Like, it's a true... Um, it's a rental. So, you know, let's take a look now at the lines, because clearly on defense, like, we have a change to make. Sergeyev and Ellis, Slavin and Pionk, that's not what I want at all. No. We could even do Will, but no, it wouldn't make a difference. Okay. So there's my defense. Ellis is a big right-handed defenseman, good for a lot of points. This is perfect. This is the last year of his contract, too. That's going to be a genius trade. Nylander's killing it. He had 73 points in 62 games. We needed that one extra piece on defense, and, like, Ellis would be a solid two-way presence. Now we don't get it. Well, we get it the next night. Like, it's either we shut them out or we allow, like, hella goals. I don't get it. All right. Ow. So we have two shutouts post-deadline. But we're unfortunately two, two and four after the deadline. So not great. We've allowed a lot of goals. Our three of our, our three wins <laughs> have been shutouts. I don't get it, man. One other gem, a low top six forward, Stephen Irving. We still know nothing about this goalie. I don't care. There's a win, finally not a shutout win. 
we lose again. Um, big games coming up. Not really. The one against the Flyers is like big-ish. Montour, wasn't he one of our players? He was. OTW. Uh, big loss against Philly there. A shootout loss keeps us in the playoff race. Overtime win, that's a big one. And we clinch. We clinch a playoff spot now um, with back-to-back -back wins. We made, it, we made it a lot harder than we had to. Um, I don't know what's at stake in this game, but we'll play and see. I know we're third in the division right now, so maybe if we win this, we'll just get closer to being, you know, like, second. Terrifying in the booth with goals, last game of the season. Nylander gets the insurance marker. So we get the W, we pad the stats a little bit. Alright. So there we go. So that win keeps us well, it wouldn't it didn't really change much, but Nylander had a solid ninety points. Um see he came to a market that appreciated him. We appreciate him here in Raleigh Durham, the center of the hockey universe. Let's take a look at the um, stats for our players this season, because I am legitimately curious. Um, so Cahoon was a point per game player. Kaufman, 63 points, so until he got put on the first line, it didn't look like he was doing all that well. So it'll kind of be interesting to see, but I mean, steady growth these past three years. He's now also a hashtag good pick. And William Nylander, over the past three seasons in Raleigh Durham, 60 points, 79 points, and 90 points. That 90 point season is his best season in the NHL, beating last year's career high of 79. So, yeah, Sergachev, great addition with 62 points. On the back end, you have Ryan Ellis with only 7 assists in his last 20 games. He was a minus 2, but, um, I mean, he ate up minutes for this team. He was 26 minutes um, a night with this team, which is kind of crazy. 44 hits, 33 blocks. So, I mean, you know, definitely just a solid presence on the back end. Uh, lots of 40-point scorers on this team. It does drop off when you get to, like, you know, the... Kind of like, not the scrubs, but, like, Vili Varakos. He, he's very clearly not going to be an offensive uh, play driver here. I think his career high is going to be around 25 points. Uh, but again, he was in that draft that just, like, didn't matter, so to speak. Um, but yeah, so let's go to the playoffs. Our, m our first round matchup is against the New York Rangers. Um, and the next round, assuming Carolina wins as well, could be Carolina versus Raleigh Durham. Tage Thompson with the goal here in the second to tie it up. Third period, huge win. Trocek nets the eventual game winner on the power play from right at a weird angle, actually. DeBrusque and Sergachev get the other goals for the ice caps. Slavin broke his right foot and is now out until May 15th. Yikes. That's not good. Um, we need him <laughs> in the lineup. But regardless, game two, DeBrusque with another goal, his second of the series. Forsberg ties it for the Rangers, third period. Donato took the lead on the power play, but Butchnevich and Zibanejad score. Rangers take game two. We're heading to Raleigh Durham. Okay, guys, can we stop getting injured literally every game, especially on defense? Thanks. Neil Pionk out until pretty much the end of the series. April 25th, so not quite the end, but game three. Raleigh Durham. Comfer with the goal. DeBrusque and Trocek scoring. DeBrusque has a goal in each game this series. Second period, Lafreniere scores. Third period, he scores again. 
but thanks to that first period collapse by the Rangers, that is a 3-2 win and a 2-1 series lead. Donato had a pretty solid series. He got his first of the playoffs. I didn't know this, but he has five points in three games. Interesting. All right. New York with a huge first period with four players scoring. Second period, Pearson gets a goal to interrupt the shutout. Confer gets one too, but yikes, that's an ugly game. And the Ice Caps lose, and the series is once again tied. Head into Madison Square Garden now. Donato had another point in that game, by the way. First period, Kaufman with a goal with less than a minute left. After f actually just 24 seconds after Forsberg took the lead, we tied it. DeBrus got the goal for the Ice Caps as well. Second period, Will Looper with his first of the series. Bichnevich and Forsberg scoring, though. No scoring in the third. So the Rangers are one win away from eliminating the Raleigh Durham Ice Caps. We need something from... I haven't heard Nylander's name in a while. Pionk is back, which actually might help the defense a little more than I'm letting on. First period, Will Looper scores. Lafreniere gets the tire, tiebreaker. Or, tying goal. DeBrus scores, and Forsberg gets the tying goal. Third period, Zibanejad scores, and Donato gets the tying goal. Back and forth action all game. We're heading to overtime in game six. If we win, the Raleigh-Durham Ice Caps will stay alive in the playoffs. If we lose, the New York Rangers will advance. We don't want that, so let's just let's get a win and uh, keep it going, folks. Sorry for the yawn there. <laughs> Alright, so Zabanajan versus Calhoun on the faceoff. Calhoun wins it back to Ellis. I haven't heard Ellis' name a ton. Nylander with it now. Calhoun shot saved. Oh, what a stop there by the Ranger goaltender. What a save. That that could have gone in. That could have been it. Number 34 for the Rangers. Couldn't see his name, unfortunately. But Fox has it now. Adam Fox carrying it up. Alexi Lafreniere. Pass broken up by Ellis. Sergachev gets it. And Calhoun carrying it up the ice. Takes it around with a nice D. Kaufman shot is stopped by the Rangers netminder. Kako with it now. Kapo Kako tries to deke around and can't get it. Sergachev with the nice play on defense. Oh, Kaufman tied up along the boards. Here we go. Kako with it now. Another board tie up. Ellis had it. Sergachev comes away with it now. Circles back behind his own net. Gets it out to Kaufman. Here they come. Nylander in all alone. Gets past the defense and makes a pass for some reason. Strange play there. Kako got it to Panarin. Shot stopped by Smushy. And he'll hold on. That's the Rangers' first offensive chance this period. Second line's out for both teams now. Donato versus Hedl on the faceoff. Nurse with it. Has the puck on his stick. It's a board battle. And Forsberg, Philip Forsberg comes away with it. Philip Heedle now gets hit, and Jake DeBrusque gets it to Ryan Donato. There we go, Nurse with it. The defenseman, the big defenseman, gets it to Tara Vinen. Poked free, and Adam Fox is going to take it up. Neither team's really giving a lot of offensive opportunities here. Lots of board battles, they're attacking the puck, yet nobody can find an open teammate and really get that open patch of ice that they need. Here we go. Shot from Teravine and missed the net. DeBrusque. Backhand poked away. Stopped and Hedl gets the rebound. Poke check on Panarin. Almost worked. Kratzoff. Panarin shot. Smushy with the save. Or he covers up after the shot went wide.
Honka with it now. Is that Anthony Honka or Julius? Shot wide. Chris Kreider with it now. Nurse had it along the board. Strocek with a nice play to break it up. Ed Booth coming up the ice. I guess it hit somebody along the bench. Yeah, I guess that's what happened here. All right, well, the third line's out for both teams. Trocek versus Sillinger on the faceoff. And Vincent Trocek loses it, so Sillinger gets the win. Kreider with it, spins around to avoid a check. And Paul Sillinger with it now. Kravs, Vitaly Kravtsov. Chris Kreider with a shot blocked in front, and Smushy covers it up after, to make the save. Would have been a great opportunity, but the Ice Caps defense held strong there. 754 left in overtime. Same lines out against or same lines out for both teams. Neither coach decides to change it up. And Sillinger wins it again. Hawka blocked shot on the way through. No penalty call on the possible trip. It's a board battle again. Shockingly, another one. My god. Crafts off. Shooting. What a stop. Smushy. I think he got the pad on it. Blocked on the way through by Varakas. The grinding forward. Ed Booth with it now. To Trocek with it blocked in front. Oh, what a play. What a move by Ed Booth and what a play on defense there. Smushy with a good save on the blocker side. Kaufman. So they've got the first line back out there. Kaufman, look how fast he can go. Ed Booth skates head to it. And Patterson with the stop. Lafreniere, poke, check away. Kako now. Lafreniere, what a save. Smushy. Sergachev skates around the defender. Cahoon got it to Nylander. The first line for the ice caps. William Nylander stops. Cahoon shot stopped by the Ranger goaltender. What a save there. My goodness. Here's Nurse, and what a blocked opportunity there. Darnell Nurse. Cahoon versus Zabanajad. Cahoon runs it back. Ryan Ellis. Sergachev. Cahoon to Ellis. At the point with the drive, and he stops it. Nylander fighting for it along the boards. Had possession of it, lost it. Patterson with it now. To Capo Caco. Poke checked away. Caco shot. Stopped by Smushy and he's going to hold on again. What an overtime. The Rangers desperately want to win and advance. And the Ice Caps desperately want to survive. It's the battle of the wills here and who's going to win it. Panarin scores. Speaking of who's going to win it. So the Ice Caps season is over. It was tough. The Ice Caps had a few opportunities, but neither team really had like a great amount of possession. But you could definitely tell that the Rangers were going to win that just because they seemed to have a little bit more momentum or more momentum. Just things seemed to be working for them. Um, so unfortunately, the addition of Ellis really didn't work out, but I didn't really lose anything. You know? like It didn't... I don't want to say it didn't matter, but it kind of didn't. Uh, so Norbert Greilinger, what a name. No points in 22 games this year. His skating is definitely a weakness, however... He's got a low elite potential. This is a guy that could be good down the road. <laughs> of course, Slavin's back now, right? Oh, he was going to be out for a long time. It was still like May 15th, I think. Yeah, that wouldn't have mattered. If it was in a... um, I would be curious to see if it mattered. Um... But Nashville has to be happy with getting the first overall pick, as well as the 14th overall pick from Minnesota. Montreal gets picks 11 and 13. The last... I'm actually happy because Nashville's getting a 
the franchise player. That's a team out of division. But we bust in uh, Goldman here, Khalil Goldman. And I have to hire a new coach for my AHL team, but nobody else. Cool. No draft interviews. I don't think it's really that important. We'll go check out the awards, though, see what happened. Who's the Calgary versus Tampa? So Calgary wins their second Stanley Cup in a row. Elise won the Art Ross and the Hart. Um. There we go. So that's it. Um, a disappointing end to a, to a season where I didn't really know what this team was. They were bad, and then they were good, and then they were bad, and then they were good. I'd like to see a little more consistency now. We're getting the 20th overall pick, so maybe we can get a player that can kind of establish those cons that consistency here. Um, we have options. We could pick Aiden Kovacs, goal scorer with pro release with the Theo Fleury comparison. Could also pick a two way center. Or I can grab the center that's possibly a sniper. And my scouts rank 19. I'm going to pick Bryce Serena here. Should have fucking picked the fucking top guy. I knew that was going to happen, man. Fuck. I hate it here. I hate it here. Hate it here. I think we could pick the goalie. I don't want to, man. Alright, well, we'll grab Johnny McCann, the defensive defenseman here. So we'll at least get something in this draft. God damn, I'm so mad. Andronov here says he's medium top six. I doubt it. Medium top five again. Wow, what a surprise. I'm so upset. There's that low elite player I'm going to pick in the seventh. Grab this guy. Riley Schmaltz. Another medium top nine forward. We're just filling our system with, like, okay prospects. Low top nine. <sighs> this sucks, man. He should still be available. Oh, and he's another player from Germany. We grab Ronald Nickel as well. Just to salvage something from this draft. I am so mad. Yes, we'll pick another player from the DEL. He is 19. Um, so... I was really hoping that he'd be 18. Um... Yeah, that draft didn't make me happy. A lot of expiring contracts here. I don't know, I'll just do that and see what they say. And yeah, that, that makes me mad. It was just we had the we had a chance to get like a really good draft. We just couldn't. So it looks like it's a lot of my less good scouts this year. It's nice that I'm finding all these gems in 
Europe, don't get me wrong. I mean, I like that. Uh, I'll do better in the USA. Coughlin is the best free agent I have. Well, let me qualify him first. Boop. And we're going to give him all of the money. Ellis, I already said I'm not going to sign. Alright. Ty Delandria. Qualify. Doig. Gonna sign. I think he was what a second round pick. Yeah, second round pick. All right, Trocheck. Don't want to give him three years, but like if I give him just like one, that should be fine. Teravinen doesn't want to sign. Tanner Pearson. Again, I'll give him an extra year. Stevenson, 72 overall, really good prospect. These two guys very clearly not worth my time. Well, this guy did improve. I'll give him a contract. <sighs> I have to. He was so good for me last year. Right when yours now. I don't hate having Varakas on the team. I hate that he was a top five pick. Find somebody other than Tage Thompson for sure. Sikola, I'm he was like a what a seventh round pick, fourth round. I mean, it's not awful. Um, not gonna sign anybody else though. Um, defense again. I said no to Ellis. I think I'm going to say no to Pionk. It's just like... These past three years, like, he hasn't been great. He hasn't even really been good. I think I'm fine. Definitely keeping Sword. I'll qualify Kolasov. And I'll sign Gov. But Tuparainen. It's a shame because like he's close to being good. But he's twenty one. Let's see. Goaltending. Problematic. So I'm going to qualify Wallstead. Offer him more money to stay. I think he's a really capable backup. Um, don't really love McKesney's growth. It was only six overall. Mars not going to play. Okay. Come on draft list. Let me at least see, like, some decent prospect. Klotz, okay. Akeem Klotz, this was the gem. Defensive defenseman, I mean, for sure. Jesus. Um... Yeah, uh, shooting and physicality are really the only things he's great at right now. It'll be something to keep an eye on, because um, he should improve a decent amount. But yeah, that draft wasn't looking very good either. Okay. Uh, 
Alright, well, coaching staff, I just have to change goalie coaches, and I'm going to take a look and see where, um, what the head coaching situation is looking like. Okay. Yeah, cuz he he's just like sixty-eight percent. Fifty-five is not great. Seventy percent. Nurse and Looper hate him. Circuit Trip Nylander and Booth really like him. I mean, I kind of have to, man. Boynton, he's like a fine head coach. 66% of the roster's fine with him. It's just like... I don't think he's it. I know I need to make changes this off-season. Um, I just can't remember where. Like everywhere, probably. Thor. Okay, I need a left winger. I need a fourth line left winger. I need a third line right winger. One, two. And I need two defensemen. So. Fourth line left winger, third line. Alright, well, let's get the left winger first. So we need just somebody that can fill in on the fourth line again. Really tough to. Right wingers, I need a solid like third line winger. Martin Count. He's a UFA. Perfect. Um, defenseman, I need two of them. Preferably two good ones. <laughs> Quinn Hughes would be fun. Um, I'm going to do it just so we can have a legitimate top pair. Um... I will go Brett Pesci as my Neil Pionk replacement. I think that'll work nicely. Alright, prospects. Any good ones available? Not really. Don't really need to fill my AHL team with too many players, but we'll add. No, I think we're good. I think we're. I think we're good. So let's try. 
in advance of scouting. I had to hire that USA scout. Ho ho ho, sneaky. Forgot about that. Shit, I meant to do it. There we go. Yeah, there might not be a good USA scout this year. You know? Excuse me. <sighs> I am going to have to stop in a little bit and run to Harris Teeter. Got my head coach. Ooh, I didn't get Martin Count. Oh shoot, now I need another winger. <laughs> That would have been kind of nice, actually. Well, now that I have my head coach... Penalty kill, line two. Oh, Buchnevich. Forward line three. Wow. There's Quinn. Of Clan Hughes. There's Pavel of Clan Buchnevich. We will decline and edit our trade block and take everybody off of it. And we will send to the next season. We'll send in it next season. And then we'll take a look at the lines and hey, I'm gonna stop for the night. Um because I don't really have enough time, unfortunately. There's everybody accepting their qualifying offers. Oh my god, stop offering me trades. <laughs> you know? Like I just want to play the game. <laughs> okay, we'll edit the lines now. There we go. Alright. third line's not great, but it's fine. What I'm more happy about, I mean, let's see. That doesn't make anything better, okay. That doesn't make anything better either. <sighs> sexy. <laughs> you sexy thing. Booth, Nylander, and Kaufman. Cahun, Donato, T. 
Teravainen, Trocek, Dabrask, Varakas, Tufty, Comfer, Kuchnevich. Defense, Sergeyev and Hughes, Shevkis right there, Nurse and Pesci, Will and Slavin. I'm going to do that. Scratched. We've got Graham Sward, Mitchell Holsher. I'm what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to the roster moves. I'm going to send S not Holsher. I'm going to send Sward down. I'm going to call up Akutyak, because I want Sword to play. Yeah, I want him to play. I feel like he will. There we go. So that's the team. That's everything that's going on. Um, I'm going to sign off because I've got to grab something um, from Harris Teeter. I'll check this probably later on in the week and we'll play about a season or two. Until then, thank you.